And you have an impressive ass beard. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I wish I could grow a beard like I that. I think, uh, well, it's been like eight years. Eight years. Wow. Yeah. Well done. Thank I you. I grow a very pubic beard. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I just run. Oh, you run good beard. I run with it, though. Yeah. No, yours is way. <laughs> what he, I, he gets sparse on the sides like oh, a. Yeah. It's like super a gray now. Oh, yeah. That's where you show your age, for sure. Yeah. What I wasn't prepared for was the amount of people that just go, nice fucking beard, dude. <laughs> yeah, just... yeah, yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Rural Field Studios. We're back here on the pod couch. Yes, We're sir. bringing you Ox. If you didn't see that live at the Whiskey Pit, get over there and watch it, because it was fucking cool, yeah, man. man. It sounded really kick-ass. That thank was a wicked guys. set, guys. Yeah, thank you guys so much for coming in, man. This is great. Thanks, Thanks for man. having us, man. Oh, man. It's yeah. very, like trippy psychedelic yeah yeah yes. i was just sitting there zoned out yeah mission accomplished yeah, yeah. it's yeah. awesome totally 100 percent for sure like so how long have you guys been uh, together as a band in this iteration like two weeks yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. oh yeah <laughs> i think but, but um, the history yeah chris and i have been playing since like the 1990s right oh yeah i want to say in long time uh randy Joined in what, 2018, 2019? Oh, sure. yeah. A couple years. Maybe right. learned drums in 2017, 18. 18. 18. Yeah, wow. Started playing live that's in 2019. Awesome. First game that is awesome. Year. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It, was a, it was a hoot and nanny. Yeah, a little bit of pressure there. Or... <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, it sounds fucking kick ass, man. Was that out of uh, necessity or like. Kind of a bunch of things like our old drummer uh, Nate. He skipped town, left his kit behind, nice. and then we uh, we searched for a drummer for a while, and we just couldn't find anyone we liked. Right, so I was just like, okay. I was like, we don't want Neil Pert. We want Meg White more than yeah. You know that for right, sure. Someone who's right. pounding and solid, right? Right. And uh, and Randy, who I've been together with since 2014, something like that. We've gone to lots of weddings and danced together and stuff. I knew she had good rhythm. So I was like, let's give the drums a try. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, That's she awesome. Had a good solid B rate from the big, from the get go, from the beginning. And nice. here we are now. Nice. And uh, yeah, locking it down. That was fucking. <laughs> boop, 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 yeah. You know. Yeah, fucking. exactly. Funny you say Meg White because I like as I'm watching you play, I like that's one that came to my mind. Yeah, for me sure. too. For me sure. Too. Yeah. Simple and heavy and yeah. 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 Hard pounding. Yeah, exactly. There's so much other noise going on. We didn't want to like busy it up with a lot of bills and stuff so right yeah, we like the simplicity yeah very that's cool. awesome man yeah. so then how did writing start like did you guys sort of work around that for writing then or uh yeah i've been writing my whole life and um a few years ago i decided just to like jump feet first or head first into this style of music nice. yeah and uh from there I just it seemed to happen quickly and easily so i just keep writing riffs and yeah sometimes these i drive these guys nuts because i'll come <laughs> with like 400 riffs and then we'll learn a song that's got you know bob's like riffs fuck. In it and <laughs> yeah. i'll change it up and like you know the next practice there's like 10 new riffs and a bunch of the old riffs are gone so <laughs> yeah yeah i'm constantly writing and you know coming up with ideas and stuff. but yeah i mean that's cool yeah, yeah. it's like uh i guess that's the style of music where you could just like even change the song from gig to gig, right? Yeah, it, it does happen. Like the the songs have definitely evolved since the recording. Even I think right. they, they are better now. But you know, hopefully that's that's a good thing, right? That the songs yeah. Yeah. keep growing and yeah. get oh, yeah. better yeah. every time. For sure, yeah. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> man, for sure. Well, so, you had one tonight, even you, you. Yeah. So so one of our songs, I'll yeah, a new one, eh? Had a new part come in like this week, <laughs> and the name of the song changed this week. <laughs> Um, so I just yeah I value the fact that these guys don't quit the band because like, they drive them nuts with like new ideas yeah my favorite line is always oh so there's another new part and we're like yeah. no that new part you showed us that one time no 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 no, no. from that there one, it goes to here and there's part. another new, <laughs> part. new new part new yeah. new part yeah <laughs> I'm sorry no, that's, that's kick ass I, I think ever growing tunes man it's great one day you'll just have like a whole set it'll be one song half an hour of just like new parts that added be, on yeah cool and not unusual in in our genre yeah you know, exactly like, right like a dope smoker is an hour long or over an hour, i think yeah. <laughs> when we got to see earthless when we opened for oh that, my god that was 
we opened for Earthless, so they did, I think, nice. a four, maybe five song set for two hours. Holy yeah. shit. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. The first song was at least 45 minutes oh, long. Oh, but wow. Yeah. Fucking, wow. And, and no vocals, or very few vocals. Yeah, eh? weird. Play. Big in that genre, too, was just to have long songs exactly. and then come in for a verse or two for just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I love it, man. It's wicked. It's great. So you guys uh, are all, well, not from Barry, but you all live in Barry right now? Or Barry-ish? None of us is from Barry. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. But we definitely call Barry our home. All right. We do. And we definitely uh, rock out in our jam space, which one day I hope to aspire to see it looking <laughs> like this. <laughs> It'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. But, uh, We're inspiration. Randy's from the north. Yeah. She's from Sault Ste. Marie. From the north. Oh, nice. Eh? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a northern ontario Iton. <laughs> yeah. Terrian. Bob's where are you from, Bob? I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Canada. Parts yeah. unknown. Yeah, parts unknown. Yeah. Bob is parts unknown. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm from. I heard to see. Yeah. Born in Sarnia, Ontario, actually. Nice. Really? Yeah. The deep south. The deep <laughs> south. I escaped the, the Sarn Hole when I was about five. And Sarn Hole. And you all over Ontario and out west and all over the place. Nice, nice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, we're glad you're in Barrie and you're so close and you came to see it. Well, not yeah. so close, but. Yeah, close enough. Close enough, hey. No, we'll be back. This is fun. I yeah, like this year. This is great. This yeah. is a great vibe. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so you guys, how often do you practice? I'm assuming you get together at, at your place. We have a jam space uh, at our place. We actually bought this house with because it has this uh, detached garage, and it was probably about the same square footage as, as this room. Right. It's lower ceilings, but we bought it for that, the purpose of mm-hmm. the band, actually. Yeah, perfect. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great. I love it. It's close to downtown, too. We can... We can hop on our bikes, and it's all downhill from our house nice. to downtown. Yeah, it's uphill on the way back. Yeah, yeah that so sucks. Downtown's <laughs> great. On the way back, you're drunk though, so it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. <laughs> that uphill climbs a little easier when you had a few, eh? Yeah, yeah, that happens. That happens. Yeah. We have lots of people crashing at our house because we're so close to downtown. Yeah. yeah, it's wonderful what our local little spot that we get to play at and uh, do some shows in is, you know less than one kilometer away yeah. to bring our gear to. Yeah. So it really balances out when you do do the further travels to have those nice, nice, yeah. close yeah. home sure. gigs. Where in uh, Barry yeah, is where's that? that? The Queens. The Queens? So the Queens Hotel has been there since the 1800s, I think. And oh, it's yeah. normally a dance club. It does have a sports bar on the one side. Uh, but during COVID, we lost our our dive club, I guess you call it, or right. like yeah. our, you know, our gig club uh, at the Fox Lounge. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, and then we started playing shows on Thursdays and Sundays at the Queens because uh, Saturday, sorry, Friday, Saturday are the dance nights. Oh right? yeah. So they pack the place for dance nights, and then we have. And actually, it's getting more packed for for uh, shows for band shows. Sweet. On Thursdays and Sundays. Yeah. The odd time you can see a show on a Friday or Saturday, but it's got to be like a big touring band. Or yeah. Right. That's cool. That's man. cool. Yeah. Is there more like stoner doom bands up there? Like obviously, Ethereal Tomb is buddy bands with you guys is yep. there more of that in your area not a ton but there so we have indian handcrafts i would say they're the kind of big dogs on the scene nice. um, they've oh, yeah. been around very established they've like played with the melvins and like nice. big business and they've even recorded you know in la and stuff oh, sure. 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 All, you know played they're, they're big and, and, and great right um and then as far as stoner doom bands i wouldn't say there's no. any other ones there's the three of right. us um i'd like to see more just take it over the scene, though, eh? Yeah. That would be, yeah. I mean, in southwestern Ontario, there's definitely a scene. Yeah. Work, yeah. Like. yeah. And we definitely have a, a really wonderful relationship with the punk scene in Barrie. Yeah. So the punk and heavy, nice. not just heavy rock, I don't know what you would term the, some of those bands as, but they some really, metal. yeah, they're very encompassing and very welcoming. So we'll play some real mix-up shows mm-hmm. that just bring in all sorts of you yeah. know, different characters and then you end up making new fans and yeah. you know you get to have that little break from the exact not the exact same sound but you know what I mean yeah, it just it takes a jump over here and then yeah. over there and yeah. it, it ends up uh, it melds really well considering the huge differences that there are yeah, yeah. Well, for 420 this year we played a show mm-hmm. with uh, a, a reggae band a stand up comedian <laughs> us hip hop there was a hip, nice. Yeah, there was a hip hop group, and there was the classic rock guy from Sudbury. That's right. Yeah. So it was, it was like a total mishmash. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Tapestry type show. But it was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, like great. every every set changes it right up. That's it was, cool. Yeah. yeah. That makes for a it great was a afternoon. whole other yeah. night. Yeah. 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 
yeah, because like nothing wrong with all metal, like metal knights or whatever. They're yeah. great, but uh, yeah, having that mix up is it's yeah. nice. Yeah, and yeah, like you said, new fans and stuff. And totally, people that probably wouldn't go check you out, see you live, and they're like, oh shit, like I was tight and heavy and doomy. Yeah. And yeah. what yeah. happens more often is at almost every show, people are like, wow, they look at Randy and they go, wow, I didn't know that was going to come out of you. <laughs> Because they just see her walking around before in like a colorful outfit of some yeah. kind, and they're like, and she sits down and plays some heavy stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's that usually is quite often. You know, I'm the only girl in the evening is is quite common, and right. uh, I play it up. I, I enjoy it, and yeah. then that's my favorite term is I didn't see that coming from you. Yeah. And <laughs> I feel like that's like just crowning me at the end of the night. Yeah, like, yeah. that's okay. what you aim for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it feels good. Thank yeah. you. That's I great. like being underestimated. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah proving people wrong is a good, uh, good feeling, eh? Big so, um, What would be like the craziest show you've ever played? What do you think, Bob? Where, where would that scale you from this year? St. Patrick's Day? Oh, yeah. Oh, like man. It failed at the year. junction. It was our first show oh, back after time. COVID. That was... <laughs> we, I think we all got COVID at that gig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right there. There was this towny walking around in an Aaron Rodgers uh, jersey. And on the back of the jersey, it still had the security tag. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he mm. got a like, discount on it. Mm. Yeah. And he, <laughs> he was, like, discount. ripped, having, like, a time of his life. Like, just, you know, telling jokes, in your face, having, you know, party time. Yeah. But he was, as he was talking to you, he would be spitting in your mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, man. Mm-hmm. And I think he may have spread... What we think is COVID. Yeah. All of us. Speaking moistly or whatever. Oh, speaking boy. Speaking very moistly. moistly. Wasn't that a term back in the day? Not to Holy speak moistly. But, fuck. But to speak moistly. That was Trudeau, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, fucking <I> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but that evening was interesting because uh, since things were just doing that full open from everything we had all experienced, uh, everybody was out. Everybody and everybody yeah. was ready. Yeah. So yeah. it was shoulder to shoulder. Um, every band seemed to just have this little groupie following if they were from like, there was the Boneheads, there was Sun Below, and I'm trying to remember. No, it was, it was Boneheads and I don't remember. Uh, Dang it. Anyways. Or, just, um, just the energy of everybody it, finally or, getting back out, right? Nope. But uh, yeah, everybody out and everybody yeah. excited yeah. and yeah. everybody was just like. It was wall to wall, and it was just. Um, it was like crowd surfing, I think. Even blissful, oh, yeah? blissful yeah. insanity was happening. That's yeah. fucking sick. Yeah, there was that um, blonde haired guy that sounded like Green Day. Yeah, I don't remember the name. Dang of it! Guy. I know, I know this band. It's gonna <laughs> pop out, and I'm gonna spit it out at one point. It wasn't Pink Leather Jackets. Or... Nope. No, that was at the Kill Room. That was so much fun. Yeah. Polluted. No, it's going to jump out at me. And we did play a show. Please. Lucid Smog Disorder. Ah, Lucid that's Smog good. Disorder. That's Sick. who it was. Sick. And they were all wonderful. Yeah. I loved it. It was so yeah. much fun. Yeah. That's great. You guys yeah. got any shows coming up? You want to pump? Do you know the next show, Bob? <laughs> I don't know. Test we'll try, actually. I don't December know. 15th. I'm going to ask my attorney. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> December 15th, we're playing with Indian Handcrafts and uh, Grieber, I think it's pronounced. Metal nice. band. Okay. Nice. Uh, and that's uh, that's a cool show because uh, Indian Handcrafts partnered with uh, a brewery from Massachusetts, and they have a beer coming out. So nice. it's Indian Handcrafts. This beer. might come out right before the fifth or on the fifteenth. Cool. Yeah. Or, so it's Bone Up Brewing in Everett, Massachusetts. That's a mouthful. Yeah. That's a hard word to say. I was just telling Jasmine that the other night. I'm like, what a what a hard name. Say. Massachusetts. Yeah. So her yeah. friend calls it Massive Two Shits. <laughs> Massive Two Shits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be a really good time because uh, mm-hmm. they're they're actually the brewery's coming up to inaugurate the oh, beer nice. collaboration that nice. they've Sweet. done with Indian Handcrafts. So right on. Sweet. That'll be, be our really first fun. show with Indian Handcrafts. We've mm-hmm. done shows with Dan from Indian Handcrafts and Brandon, uh, the Six for Six. Mm-hmm. They right. covered. Uh, right. They covered Tomahawk and nice Stone Temple Pilots. Stone Temple Pilots, that's Sweet. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. And you guys did. We did Clutch. Yes, it's nice. Clutch. Yeah. Nice, solid. <laughs> yeah, right. Old nineties Clutch. We did. Mm-hmm. Got to do Beard Burner. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and then uh, January is looking exciting. Nice. We have oh, yeah. uh, our interprovincial wormhole tour coming out. Correct. Oh, yeah. So we have teamed up with our Quebec brothers, uh, Sons of Arrakis. 
Okay. Um, so they are coming in January for four dates. Yeah. Nice. So we're doing Oshawa, Hamilton, Toronto, and Barrie in nice. January. Nice. Uh, just happens to be over my birthday. So That's if awesome. You guys nice. Make one. That'd yeah. be great. It's yeah. my birthday. Yeah. Um, <laughs> everybody, everybody should try and go That's make those right. shows. And yeah. <laughs> then uh, in March, we head to Quebec with them. And then Sick. we do a mini tour of Montreal, Sherbrooke, Sherbrooke Quebec, Quebec City. City, and Ottawa. Ottawa. That is awesome. So you can look that up on our socials. We have these amazing looking posters. We'll have links yeah. to all their socials in oh, the yeah. description below. Mm-hmm. You can follow these guys. You oh, probably yeah. should. <laughs> so, so that's the big ones coming up. But yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's Sweet. super exciting. How did that come about? Like, uh, So the Doom Charts actually I think was what brought us to oh, life nice. on their radar. Um, so we got two number two on the Doom Charts in June. And they got number one on the Doom Charts in July. Sure. Right. So I think they're like, oh, you guys are this close to us. Why don't we yeah. hook something up, right? Perfect. Yeah. Um, and we're like, absolutely. So yeah. oh, That's awesome. So we're introducing them to Ontario. They're nice. introducing us to Quebec. Yeah. And uh, I think our francophone friend here will be more than happy to. I wonder. Them. It's going to be a good tour. Yeah. <laughs> Quebec in March is good. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we had talked about like, what are we going to go to Quebec in January? No, probably not a good idea. So yeah. Yeah. Later in the year. Right. So right. it's kind of a split up tour, like half in January, half in March, and then one of February we've got some stuff planned as well. But nice. uh, we'll kind of lay a bit lower. Busy, now. busy. Yeah, it's busy. Big time. Yeah. That's time. awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, new recordings coming out, or uh, we have something in the works. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is like the term, the internet term now. Like local band has something in the works. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stay tuned. You know, we're hey, working on brace something. Yourselves. Yeah. Big news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Recording yeah. still to come, right? We're gonna. Yeah. We're going to jump into the studio pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, we've got a split Lace coming up done. with a band from the States, and then we got... Nice. Uh, as long as the stuff doesn't stuff. change every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 He's got to lock it in soon, because yeah. it's, it's yeah, coming well. up. Once it's laid down, it's locked in. Eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, That's right. Then yeah. it's coming out to live performances to see how it evolves after yeah. that. Because Chris's mind is a psychedelic twist of uh, colors <laughs> and rhymes and riffs happening at all times. Yeah. yeah. But our record just came out. Last week? This week? Today? Yesterday. Today. Well, technically, uh, it's being shipped, starting to ship today. Yes. Really? Yeah. Nice. So pre-orders are being shipped out uh, today, December 3rd. Yeah. And uh, we'll have our albums and still a few cassettes left, uh, thanks to Tarantula Tapes. Um, mm-hmm. Northern Haze. And Northern Haze for, mm-hmm. for Shout that Shout out. Yeah. It's nice having a cassette. It's yeah. the neatest Bit. Yeah, man. Like, yeah. I have a cassette. Yeah, um, nostalgia but, there. <laughs> but yeah, vinyl. Vinyl is finally in our hands. Oh, and nice. It'll be That's our live sick. shows. So oh, I totally want to pick some of that up. For yeah. Sure. It's exciting. Yeah. So yeah, we love it and we're really proud of it. So we got the vinyl. The day we got the vinyl, I went to put it on the turntable and I brought the thing over and it just wouldn't turn. So I'm like, oh. So that day I was like, throw this thing in the garbage and we went out straight out and bought a brand new turntable yeah, yeah, yeah. for the brand to. new record yeah, yeah. So you was, have to eh? it's like two virgin you know, yeah. two, two virgins, virgins coming together yeah, yeah. and it, it was beautiful. beautiful and it that wonderful. sound was incredible yeah <laughs> didn't last very long no it's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it never does huh? yeah 30 second pumps man <laughs> never forget it that's awesome um, yeah that's good cast do you want to talk about that record a bit yes heavy on the cosmic bob give us yeah. your synopsis well listen yeah when did we recorded it like it was just over a year ago yep yeah i think and we had only been rehearsing those songs just a little like those songs are so fresh yeah and we went into the studio and laid them all down yeah what, like eight eight uh, songs eight, yep. it was eight Something songs yes like and um and just smashed them all out yeah, yeah. and then like since we recorded it and the cassette came out, like we've been we've been gigging the heck out of those songs. Yeah, yeah. So like Chris was saying, they've kind of evolved a little bit. Yeah, and we've really settled into them. Yeah, yeah. A lot, but um, they get that live spin, right? That little. Yeah, yeah. So like on the record or the cassette, like the recording, the songs are so fresh, so they have like that brand new energy. Yeah. Kind of thing to them, right? Yeah. It's definitely a toddler. It's it's just mm-hmm. little and just working it, and yeah. just, just getting through. And now it's like, it's just play, It's a playful run on things, yeah. and it's really great to get out there and to have so little experience 
But now to have like a year full of playing those songs, and yeah. now a couple of them, it feels like home. Yeah. Right. Like, okay, we're throwing a new one in. I'm so scared. Yeah. But, oh, now we're back to home. Yeah. yeah. This is nice. nice. Here nice. it is. <laughs> That's awesome. It's nice when you play a song over and over and over again. You don't even think about playing it. You just yeah. let it happen. Yes. Yeah. Muscle memory, and it yeah, just kind of way to do it. Yeah. There's just definitely been times where there's been like the lights are going crazy and you kind of oh, lose man. track of where your hands are or the crowd is doing something. Yeah. And you're like, I'm so glad that I've played that song four million times yeah. because I didn't even have to think about it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That was funny because at the Kill Room, that was one of those moments and there is a video somewhere. Um, I was playing and the guy who runs it, can't remember his name, I apologize right now. Oh, uh, yeah. But he, <laughs> he was coming down Andrew? the bowl and he slid a little and right. slid right into my chair. So I was like, whoa. Yeah. And I was just like, thank goodness my hands are still doing what they're supposed to be doing. Because I thought he was coming on top of me at yeah. that moment. Yeah. But he saved himself. And it was yeah. just that moment. I was like, thank goodness this is just happening. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah no, Your arms kill. just keep doing what they're supposed to. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The kill room's fun. Just playing right in the middle of the pipe there. Right? And like, yeah. That was, that was a great energy that night. I love that place. Yep. Yeah. And I like when you set up in the middle of the pit and then that sound that kind of surrounds yeah, you, right? Yeah, It's kind of a cool reflection you get there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had all our ants. We were down in, and then we had all our ants up, like, up on the top there. I see people do that. Yeah. And, well, actually, Marlon, like our drummer, was kind of stuck back in that corner. Were you I down was, in the middle? I was down yeah, in the yeah, middle. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Which is why the right. owner almost took me out. Right, yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> and we were in the early <laughs> renditions of putting mm. the bands up in there, so that mm -hmm. was an interesting take. But it was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that place is kick-ass. Yeah. yeah. Finding it was interesting. Yeah, eh? The, the, I've never been there. There's no address. You gotta ask a punk. Ask a punk. Yeah, man. And then even when they give you an address-ish, yeah, you're stole, still yeah. like... Stole, you pull up to a variety stuff. store, you're like... Hmm? Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Through a special elevator. <laughs> hundreds of people. <laughs> on the yeah. Of the, earth. the back cave. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, forever descending. Some like side <laughs> shit. <laughs> Staircase. Like Where are we going? <laughs> Loading your gear down. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's a fucking awesome spot. Really cool. Um, you guys also played in London. Yes. Yeah, Richmond. with our guys, Pot is Drugs, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. They Shout were to them. fantastic. Those yeah. guys are hilarious. Great. That was another interesting night because we had Pot is Drugs, mm. Looping, mm -hmm. um, Incognito Baby, and us, mm -hmm. and everybody was. You could meld us in some sort of form, but at the same time, they sat in this range. You're right. in this yeah. one, we're in this one. So it was really neat. Like everybody just kind of married by the end of the night, but yeah. at the same time, you were all something unique and individualized. Yeah. It was yeah. not the same every set. So yeah. it was a That's lot a cool of fun. spot because I think it is oh. officially the oldest bar in Ontario. Oh, yeah. It started out as a 18, grocery store yeah. in the 1800s. Yeah, 18, and 18 something rather. Yeah. It became a bar and still going. A hotel and a bar. And, yep. Yeah. So it, the historical value was wonderful. And I'm going to say, as a drummer, I'm not certain what you guys play, play um, having the open windows behind yeah, me for yeah. a little breeze, yeah. that was something yeah. because uh, I'm usually stifled by the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, it was summertime show. Too. Yeah, it was hot that day, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. I, I could feel that. That was a nice little bit for me. You get the yeah. people standing on the street watching you, too. Totally. Yeah. That was interesting. In between, you know, songs when you have a moment, maybe somebody's saying something, you're just like, and then you're like, are those eyes? Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. how you doing? I'm being watched <laughs> from everywhere. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got the ass crack hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> I totally would. I totally would. <laughs> would you guys say you prefer playing shows with like a mixed lineup or <laughs> just... Do you like playing oh, with other Doom bands? I like playing with other Doom bands because I'm a huge fan of that music. Right. So I like yeah. It, right? yeah, so you play and you can step off and see, like, hear That's more right. of it, right? Yeah. And we played uh, with Old Ceremonies. They were great. And Astro Witch. Astro Witch was great. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> Sun Below. Low Orbit, Sun Below, Tumble. Mm -hmm. Tumble's slightly out of kind of the, they're not really Doomy, but they're like jam, so oh, man. Doomy. You literally <laughs> feel like you've stepped out of a time machine into 1970-something when they're playing. Yeah, like, it's yeah. got enough fuzz and heavy to be touching doom. Like, yep. just dipping a toe in. Right. But then they're just grooving, and yeah. they are unbelievable. Yeah. Sweet. Old Time Moonshine. They're, oh, com yeah. they're coming. Old Time Moonshine. Uh, they're coming here. They're coming here tonight. Those boys are yeah. wonderful. Yeah. They're yeah. so good they at what they do. They opened for Conan, actually. We went to see them. Yeah. opened for Conan. That was, yeah. that was pretty wicked. Yeah. That was a good show. It's going to be yeah. sweet. Yeah. I, uh, I personally... I don't care who we play with, 
just be a good human. That's all yeah. I need. Yeah. Yeah. I will rock yeah. out and make friends with everybody yeah. and anybody. Totally. So, yeah. And thankfully, this community, the yeah. scene, everywhere we've been, like Every, everybody's been... Everybody's like that, right? Oh, just yeah. great humans. Yeah. And I never know what I'm coming into. I don't have a lot of history in the music scene. So it was like, ooh, mm -hmm. yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And instead, yeah, now yeah. I've got like a million new brothers yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> very supportive, too. <laughs> yeah. Everybody that comes through here, everybody's just cool. And yeah. it's what all good, What do you good, prefer, man. Bob? I like everything. Yeah. I like I like a mix. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like the best part of playing gigs is going out and watching the other bands. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly, right? Uh, right? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Like our sound, we can kind of, I think we kind of fit in with like a, you know, a different range. Yeah. We could go on the heavier, sort of sludgier end. Yeah, or yeah. More or we yeah. Kinda, Party rocky kind of. Yeah, yeah. Even like indie kind of. Yeah, fucking right. Grungy stuff. That yeah. sounds so good. <laughs> Yeah, it works everywhere. Yeah. yeah. It works everywhere. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. Anything else you guys want to add before we wrap it up? Anything you want to plug? What would you like to plug? We have lots of fun merch stuff. Cool. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Like a website we can go to to buy the merch? We do. www.ox.ca. Nice. Shit. That yeah. is very official. Yeah. Yeah. A -A -W -K -S. yeah. A -A -W -K -S. Go to their website and buy vinyls, merch. Oh yeah, I will definitely be ordering some vinyl. So vinyls are actually, vinyls from Black Throne Productions. Productions .com. Okay. Okay. Uh, sweet. That's our, our label uh, slash promo place. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, and then t-shirts, patches, stickers, bottle openers, all sorts of funky doodads. Slap beer koozies. Yeah. Yeah. Beer koozies. We just got patches in, which look pretty sweet. Nice buttons. Pins. Oh, there you go. Bob, anything buttons, you want to last minute say? Finisher, come to our show. Yep. <laughs> I knew he'd say it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. that's it. <laughs> Bob says, "Come to their show." That's yeah. perfect. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. You know, yeah. we're not sure what. Well, actually, the next band we just said it. Old time moonshine. Yeah, man. Tune up and tune in for that shit. Yeah, make sure you get over to Ox and follow up them on all their socials. All of them. Um, yeah, hit up Ox.ca for any merch and stuff. Fucking right, dude. Fucking right. Don't sleep on these guys, man. Thank you so Get much. Get it going. Guys. Oh, yes. thank you for coming. Thank Thanks. You. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. All guys. right. Tune up and tune in to the next episode. Boom. Oh. Okay. <laughs>